Okay, so uh, let's look at the terminal here. Uh, let's clear the screen. Control L or type clear. List out what we have. We have uh, a few different files here. We have our base Debian install, which is just a very uh, basic Debian image. Um, and then we've got our our uh, kernel here and a few other files we need to boot uh, using a virtual machine. And then we have our, uh, I'm sorry, this one was the base image. This one is with GNOME and Matchbox installed. Um, what we're going to do today is go back to uh, the um, Debian Arcos uh, website here looking at their tutorial. Um, and right here they're talking, they're, they're, gonna, they're using a USB image writer and basically what they're doing there is they're taking um, the image, extracting the files to a USB drive and then recompressing it after they make some changes to an uh, actual image file. We can actually skip that step. We don't need to extract the files. Um, and what we're going to do is basically, uh, like we did before, uh, let's see. Uh, we've already typed sudo um, mod probe n uh, bd. I'm looking at my notes again. Max underscore part equals 36. And don't ask me what any of that really means because I, I don't know. Uh, I've already run that once. Um, if you've rebooted since, you may need to run it again. I'm not going to run it again because I don't know if it will screw anything up running it a second time. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to say sudo, uh, and we're going to use qmu-mbd, uh, and we're going to do dash c again, device. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever cleared it before, so I'm actually repeating myself again. Really, if we do... We unmounted it, but we didn't clear it. If I do dash D, device, and the name of the device that we mounted it to in a previous tutorial, MBD0, it is now disconnected. So now we can list device, NDB, uh, MBD, asterisk. And you can see it still shows all the devices, but it doesn't show the partitions because that image is no longer that device. So that's how when you're all done, you would undo that. I don't think it would be hurt anything if you left it and, like, rebooted the machine. It, I think it would just unmount it. Um, but we need to put it back there again for what we're about to do. But I just wanted to go over that disconnecting since I forgot to do it, just like I forgot to unmount it earlier. Pseudo. Um, oh, sorry. QMU, NBD, uh, dash C, device, MBD0, and the name of the image that we want to put on that device, which in this case is Debian.img, which is in our folder. So now if we list out these again, you can see that that image has three partitions. And we just want this one. Because if we throw this image on the Arcos tablet or a lot of devices like it is now, it's not going to know what to do because it doesn't it just sees all these partitions inside this one image, and we just want this one partition. So now, though, that it's showing up as a device and it's not mounted, we don't want it mounted at this point. We just want it as a device. We can actually clone it using DD. So I'm going to go DD uh, in file if equals uh, device nbd zero. Um, P1, yeah, P1, and um, I'm going to say out file. So where we're going to put it, we're going to put it in a new file. We'll call it root fs.img since that's what it needs to be called when it goes on the Arcos tablet. So, um, oh, and you have to be sudo or root to do that. And DD does not give you any output by default. Um, and this may take some while because it's basically copying, you know, three and a half gigs worth of information. Now, uh, basically what we're saying here is we're cloning a drive or a partition. Uh, what partition are we cloning? We're cloning this one and we're taking it uh, and putting it into an image file right here, which is actually uh, in going to be inside the directory we're working in now. Uh, once that's done, we can just mount that using the mount command. Uh, since there's not s different partitions, we don't need to run any uh, funky commands for it. But before we do that, let's make sure that we, uh, just to be proper about it, we sudo qmu-mbd-d for disconnect, 
device mbd0. And we want to spell sudo right. Helps when you spell things properly. OK. So if we list now, we have our base Debian install that we can go back to at any time. We have our Debian uh, GNOME desktop inside this image file, but with the other partitions. And really, we can delete that at this point because this is the same thing without the swap partition and whatever that other partition is. I don't think it's set up a partition for home directory, so I, I don't, I'm trying to remember what Debian does there. Anyway, and really we don't need this file anymore either, but we're going to leave them there now for now just in case we decide to do something later on. But now I can say sudo mount. Also remember we unmounted. There's nothing in this directory. You can use any empty directory to mount stuff, but I'm going to um, actually make a folder because I want to mount two images right now. So I'm going to make a directory. I'll call it Debian. So I just have an empty folder in this folder called Debian. There it is, highlighted blue in my case anyway. And we're going to say sudo mount dash o loop because uh, it's a loop device. And then we're going to say uh, uh, not yeah root fs dot img. And where are we going to mount it? We're going to mount it in that folder we just created. Now if I list out Debian, it shows everything in that folder, which is really in the image. It's basically like a, a symbolic link pointing to the stuff inside that image file. Um, OK, because we need to put some stuff in here to get it working on the Archos tablet properly. Now, uh, if you remember correctly, in the first tutorial I told you how I didn't give you details, but I told you how to go to the Archos site, install the new firmware, which installed their operating system, which installed a root FS image on the uh, media hard drive partition of the Arcos tablet. Um, and you're going to want to back that up in case you want to go back to it. But that's also where we're going to be grabbing files from. But I don't have that file with me right now. I have it on another computer somewhere. But luckily, I, ha I do have the, um, the, one, the image file from Debian-Arcos. Um, and, uh, and since they have already copied those folders over and those files over, I can just grab it from there. But I need to mount that image first. Um, so that file, home directory, my Arcos, that's what's in there. Oh, actually, right there is actually the original one. I do have it on this computer. So this file here uh, is the one that, that came from the Arcos website, the official, unofficial uh, developer's edition of their Linux operating system. So what I need to do is mount that. So I'm going to say sudo mount, and that is in my home directory. But obviously, you say wherever it is. Actually, what I'm going to do is, just for fun, copy it to my current directory just to make things less confusing for you guys hopefully so I'm copying that file over I don't think it's very big yeah I think it's like 60 or 80 megabytes so now it's in this folder let's clear the screen list here it is sorry if I kinda got a little sporadic there we're gonna mount that the same way we mounted the other one with dash o loop the name of the file boom and I'll mount that on my MNT directory that's empty. OK, so now if we go back to our, our Arcos Generations website, we can see here, after mounting it, uh, we want to copy everything from the boot folder to the boot folder of our new image. So we are going to say copy dash r I don't think there's any folders in there but dash r just does uh, recursively so if there's any folders in there it will copy those as well um, mnt boot asterisk to our debian boot folder make sure you're root when you do that or sudo so basically these files especially I think uh, that one's uh, of great importance and, and this one here, all three of those. So those are now in our Debian image with GNOME and everything else. There's one other file we they say we need to copy over. 
Um, that, that one there is probably to get it boot right. I'm not really sure what this other one's for, but it's in your libs module folder. It's actually a whole folder of uh, uh, 2.6. I'm sure it has something to do with the kernel uh, with those numbers. So basically, this time we're not copying files. We're copying the folder. So if I list Debian lib modules, you can see that we have a folder for the, the uh, kernel that we have already installed, but we're going to copy a whole new folder. So copy dash R MNT uh, lib modules. And if we double tap, you can see the folder there. If we just do that without that slash there, then we can say uh, copy it to, oh, and I think we probably have to be sudo again. Copy it to Debian lib modules. And if we go back up and list out that directory again, make sure it copied. There it is. Now we can unmount both of those sudo u mount mnt and sudo u mount uh, Debian. So both those are unmounted. And now we should have an image right here that we can copy over, plug in your Archos device, boot into Android. A plug in the USB, copy this over to the main directory uh, of, the, of the drive that mounts, and then we should be able to boot to it. I think I did everything. So cross your fingers. Let's go ahead and uh, check that out in the next video. Oh, and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Should be a link in the description uh, to that site and other information on this little series of tutorials. Have a great day.